Hello everybody and here is a short demo of the Fact Factory. It's Stephen here. I'm just going to go through it. Just going to spend a minute or two just showing you the main features. So as you can see the magazine is there. You have your pen. So the very first thing you do with the pen is you turn it on. So you just hold down that um, grey kind of button, the white button, until it turns green and then you're good to go. So once the pen is on, the first thing you need to do is, if you look here, you have the activation point and that's why it's numbered one. And then number two is your icon so that you can begin listening. So you just come along and you should hear a sound like this when you activate. There you go, it's up very loud. I'll just turn it down a little bit. And what we do say most definitely is the best result for a child listening to the Fact Factory is through headphones. Because if they're in a noisy classroom of that, we have to ensure that they can hear and they can enjoy listening to the content throughout. So if you have headphones, you just pop them in there and the child has a very intimate reading experience then. So next up, we have the audio icons. Hi there, and welcome to issue number two of the Fact Factory. Okay, I'm just going to stop Brody there because uh, I won't take you through all the audio icons, but I will show you how they work. But it's very simple. Once you activate it anywhere where you see one of these audio icons, press the button and you hear audio being played back. And it's always related to the content right beside it. So if you have the audio icon here, you just come along. And this is Andy. Okay, so I'll just stop Andy there. So uh, you won't be able to see this on the video, but all these um, audio icons are actually raised up off the page. So a child with visual impairment is able to feel and then they can locate the activation points with their fingers. And that's a really important part of our mission of accessibility, is even a child who is visually impaired or who is, in, who is blind is able to use the pen by just locating the activation points throughout the magazines. And there's guidance bars as well. So if you're wondering, well, the page is quite big and they have to search for this small icon. What we do is we raise the bar here. So it's a kind of a guidance bar. So once they feel the bar, they know to head for the circle. Um, and, and, you know, they learn very, very quickly that that's the way to do it. I'll just tap one more. This is Izzy and she's doing ants. Let me just go to Izzy's chapter page, actually. So there's six characters in all. Um, Andy does animals. Izzy does insects. Brody does the body, Heidi does heroes from history, Saeed does sea creatures, and Brooke does buildings. And this is Izzy, so we'll just listen to Izzy saying hello to the guys. Hi guys, it's Izzy here with another amazing insect for you to learn about. The awesome ant. These little critters can be seen in your garden and on the street. Just be careful not to stand on them as they are busy doing amazing work. Okay, and that's Izzy. So Izzy takes kids through some lovely, interesting facts all about ants. They really are amazing. Uh, there's Brody and so on. So that's just a very short demo on how the audio feature of the magazine works. So just in short, you come along, your pen is turned off, you turn it on, you activate your magazine, and then you're able to locate the raised audio icons because they're raised off the page. We use a special UV ink that lifts it up off the page. So those with visual impairment or those children that are blind or those that need a little bit of tacti tactile support are able to locate the audio icons with their fingers and know to press there. And also, I should say that anywhere that uh, the text is, a child can press Fact. it there. Fact number 10. So that we don't punish children. If, if children have poor fine motor skills, they might just be able to tap the box as opposed to locating the audio icon. So it, it will play from being hit anywhere here. But for a visually impaired child, we just need to be able to give them a location point, And that's how we do it with the raised icons. So I hope that is of help to you. I hope it gives you an idea of the audio. We also have uh, short demo videos on how to uh, record using the pen and how to upload audio should you need to. So that's it. Uh, I hope it's of help. Bye.